Okay, welcome back to Two Point Perspective. Just gonna get down to business. You guys should know how to do all this stuff already with the horizon line and vanishing points. To keep things really simple, I'm going to put the vanishing points on the piece of paper so that you know and you can see what I'm working on. Okay, so there are a couple of ways that you can see this. Here's the vertical line. Remember, two-point perspective, all vertical lines are perpendicular to the horizon line. And then we have this line that is on the right plane, the plane that is facing to the right side. All of those lines go to the right vanishing point and all the plane lines that are on the left side go to the left vanishing point. So that it's kind of an easy way to remember this stuff. I've placed this long vertical line to kind of show you where the edge or the corner of the stairs is going to be located. So to set up stairs, there are a few rules. First off, you want to make sure that the slope, which is the incline of the stairs, like how high the stairs are sloped or how flat the stairs are sloped, that incline is determined on how high you place the point above the horizon line. So if you place your slope point high above the horizon line, you're going to have a really high angled staircase or roof or pitch or box opening, whatever you want to do or draw. And then if you keep it lower, so it's towards the horizon line, just above the horizon line, it's going to be more of a general softer slope. So stairs that are wider, um, that generally go up, that's where you locate or place the stuff. Now, the slope vanishing point has to be directly above vanishing point, we'll just call this vanishing point two, this vanishing point one. So the slope has to be directly above, no matter where you put it, make the decision. Do you want it to go way up high, way down low? Where do you want to place it? I'm just going to say, uh, you know, this is about medium height. I'm going to place it right about there. It is directly above vanishing point two. So that's where I want to put the slope. So the slope is, this is the special vanishing point. We'll just call it S soup and we just draw the lines that go to that point. Okay, so I just randomly selected this width. The width of this staircase is here. You could make it wider, you can make it more shallow, whatever you want to do. If you have a wall that is sitting here, and I'll add a wall in later so that we can see how everything works together in this. So once we have this general slope placed in, there's two different ways that you can uh, approach this. You can either build boxes that are go this, going this way or a grid that's going this way and you can find out exactly where they're spaced and draw vertical lines so you know exactly where the staircase is located. Or you can do kind of the same thing with this staircase. So if we're going to create Eight, this staircase here, it's going to be going up. We need to make sure that the staircase has dimension to it or a width. So if I have the staircase starting in the ground, that would look a little weird. So I'm going to have it starting just above the ground. So I'm going to indicate uh, that's about the size of my first step that I want to indicate. I'm going to create the front part of that step and then also go back to the special vanishing point. So this will be a pretty tight slope and staircase coming in, but you can see this vertical line attaching there. Now all I have to do is draw a perfectly vertical line from there and that will create the front of my step. So I have this vertical line and this vertical line. That creates the front face of my staircase. Now I'm going to draw this line to the second vanishing point because I am trying to figure out where is this plane. If I were to look at a side view of stairs, you would have the line coming across. We're drawing the general slope here and there. 
You're, we're creating a stair that will go back like this and then up, back like this and then up and back like this and then up. This is what we're creating on the side view, but we're doing it in perspective. So try to imagine that this is the section we're drawing on the stairs. So I, I just drew this section right here represents this front section. Now I have to draw this section that's coming back. So I'm drawing this line from the front point to the back point or the bottom part of that stair. So I will just do that with each individual one going to this slope, this vanishing point, and then drawing a perfectly vertical line, then the vanishing point and a perfectly vertical line. So we'll go to there. Okay, we'll just say that those are our stairs. Now this looks really weird because it comes across on the horizon line there, it goes above the horizon line and below the horizon line. But now that I have one side fixed, I know exactly where the top of the stair is, the next stair that's going up, the top of the next step, the top that's going up, the top of that step, the rise and the run of each step. All I have to do is find this line right here and indicate it in perspective. So these lines are going over to this vanishing point. So try to keep separate. The special vanishing point is just figuring out this slope. What is this angle? All the other lines go to vanishing point two or vanishing point one or are completely vertical. So the rules stay the same with every other line except for the general slope. So I will draw all of these lines over just to kind of show you. Okay, so now I have all of these lines drawn out to this vanishing point. I need to create the top part of this run over here and then the vertical, the rise, and then the run, and then the rise and the run. So I'm gonna establish those. Since I know that this is the rise line right here and here, all I know is that this is going to be the run line. So these lines go to the vanishing point here and these lines go completely vertical. So I will draw all of the run lines. Okay, so now I have my stairs that have been created. I have the rise here, the run here, the rise, the run, the rise, the run, the rise, the run, etc. I have all of those established. I'm going to take this line and just kind of finish it over at vanishing point two so that we have more of a, well, I'll just push it down and then do a vertical line just so it looks more solid. Okay, so now I have the staircase that is placed in perspective. If I were to create a railing, and this railing is parallel to this slope of stairs, let's say there's a bar that's coming up here and a bar that's coming up here, and I'm wanting to create a railing. If that railing is parallel with the slope of these stairs, then it too will go to the same special vanishing point. So uh, let's just say I, I put a railing here at the edge it will start uh, right about there. So we'll indicate that. So this would be a one line railing that is going up to the stair. Now let's build a wall back here to kind of put it in perspective of everything else so it's not just some floating staircase. So I'll just build that really quick. So now I have a little wall that is built here with the stairs that are going against it. I could make this wall look like it's coming further out or away just by extending these lines. Just show you really quick. So now depending upon what I erase, I can erase these lines and make it look like there's a hallway going to the stairs. I can 
erase these lines and make it look like there's a corner that is going against or with the stairs. I could build a, a door at the top of the stairs, whatever you want to do. This just shows you how to create the slopes. Now, let's say you have a box sitting in the space. I'm just going to erase some of these things just to clean it up so you can see the box and what I'm talking about. Okay, now the question might be, how do you know if the slope goes up to a special vanishing point or down to a special vanishing point? And the way I look at it is it depends on your viewpoint of whatever the object is that you're drawing. So I'll draw a box really quick and put some flaps on it and we'll determine if the flaps go to a special vanishing point below the horizon line or a special vanishing point above the horizon line.